Um, what I'm going to try and do is to give you a bit of flavour, a bit more flavour about how we progressed from the original conference at Ripon, and then fill in very briefly. I'm going, to, I'm going to let BT do the technical stuff because people who know me realise that I, I don't, don't get beyond whooshing off. So I'm going to leave mega bits and fibre ducts to, to BT. But essentially, the, the, the points I want to make, if this works, are, it should be more than a year ago, the vision, and we, we were calling it connecting North Yorkshire there, was that from the county's perspective, together with partners, um, we were trying to get access to high quality broadband, a bit of a debate about what that meant, 100% North Yorkshire by 2017. So that's where we were over a year ago. The challenges to overcome in doing that, I mean, Julian has referred to things like procurement processes and all of that. I'm not going to go into that, maybe for you. The challenges that we faced at the county were clearly the marketplace, we call it, has failed. Otherwise, BT or other telcos would have come in and done it. And in some parts, particularly the larger towns, that's, that was going on. And part of our task will be to mesh what BT would have done with what we're now going to, as it were, give them the money to do. State aid is a bit of a technical issue. Essentially, if you are giving public money, whether it's UK money, North Yorkshire money, or European money, to a private sector company, which BT is, you have to abide by certain rules. And that is incredibly complicated. And we're the only area in the country that's actually successfully negotiated the state aid issue. Whilst all that was going on, we're also very conscious that there's ever-increasing demand for internet. I do, as you might imagine, a whole raft of these presentations and meetings, and people keep telling me that what, they, what was a satisfactory year ago is now moving on and escalating. And we're also very acute, acutely aware of this issue, what we call not spots and slow spots. And I'll, we'll deliberately come on to that again later on, but I want, to, I want to give BT the opportunity to explain what they will do, and then we'll try and fill in, fill in around that. Moving on. But it's not just about connectivity. From the county council's perspective, the vision was also about getting people to use broadband, whether it be pupils in schools, old people and getting telecare, so whatever, tele telemedicine services, whatever. So whilst we will be talking essentially today about connectivity, like wash and off, um, and speeds and capacities, and I'm sure BT will get some fascinating questions from about those, we're also uh, talking, talking to various organisations about how we get the message out once the train set gets built, if, I could, if BT will allow me to call it a train set, once it's been built, how do we encourage people to actually use it? 